and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you all. I know it's been a minute since I've done one so I'm really excited about this. Now this one is going to be much smaller than my usual Dollar Tree hauls since I have been consciously, when I go into the store, I'm very conscious of what I buy and I only get things that I need. So let's go ahead and hop into this haul. So first up, I found a new shampoo and it's by Spa Luxury and it's a repairing shampoo of honey, royal jelly and propolis. So I can't wait to try this out. I've seen that they also have a conditioner, so I'm on the lookout for that as well. And then I also found a new body scrub by Bolero and this is coconut milk and coffee. I thought that would be a really interesting combination to try out, so I picked that up. I also found this really neat camera case, and this was in the electronic section, and I thought this was so cute. Now, I don't have a camera small enough to fit in here, but it comes with this little, um, what would you call this, like a little strap? Here. So I thought about turning this into a miniature purse or wristlet. I thought that would be really cute. So I picked that up. And then I also picked up some crafting supplies. So I found these really pretty rub-on transfers. And it kind of looks like they're on like an old type of paper. I thought that was so pretty. So I picked up a few of those. I love this one. So beautiful. And then this has a few different items you can choose from. And then this one, absolutely gorgeous. Love that. And I think I found some more as well. Are these, this one, oh yeah, one more. So pretty, love those. Those are gonna look beautiful in my junk journal. I also found these rub-on transfers of some dandelions. Thought those were really pretty as well. Then I picked up a stencil brush. I want to start using up my stencils and my junk journals, so I picked this one up. I also got a compass and protractor. I thought that would be helpful for my junk journal as well. And then I found this beautiful card that I'm actually going to be using for my junk journal. I just love the imagery of this, so pretty. It says, some gifts you hold in your hand, and then the inside says, others you hold in your heart. So grateful for you and all that you do. So it's a beautiful card if you wanted to give that to somebody, but yeah, I'll be using it for junk journaling. So gorgeous, love that. And then I also saw that Dollar Tree is coming out with a lot of detangular brushes. So I picked up this detangular comb. And as you can see, it has different layers of bristles. So I picked that up. Having long hair, I'm constantly getting um, bird's nests in my hair or rat's nests, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so I got that. And then I also found this little trinket dish. I thought these were so pretty. And they come, I believe they come in silver and like a bronzy color as well. But I picked up the gold and it's actual metal. So I thought that was so cute. I'm actually gonna be using this on my altar, probably as a spell box. I'm not sure yet, but I just thought it was so pretty. So I picked that up. Then I also picked up a brush cleaning pot. So as you can see, it has a lid here and then these little grooves to hold your brushes. Right now I've been using 
ashamedly, I've been using my uh, kitchen cups, my dinner cups, and they leave stains on the inside of the cup. And then of course I can't use them for drinking. So I picked this up so I won't have to deal with that anymore. And then in the toy section, and I believe I've hauled these in the past, but I picked these up specifically for a DIY project. Now I've seen a lot of people who transform these into like haunted houses for Halloween. And I really like the structure of the design on the houses. And since my aesthetic is more, I'd say like a Gothic Edwardian witchy feel, I want to turn these into a two-story Edwardian house and paint them. I think that would be really cute. So something like this, or maybe the other way, something like that. But I just thought that would be so pretty. So I'll probably do a video of that. So that'll be coming up here. I also found this really adorable rainbow purse. I think this would be great as like, I think they're calling them a bum bag or something you just pick up when you're going out the door, maybe to a flea market or something like that, when you don't wanna carry your whole purse around. I thought that was super cute. Then I also picked up some of these, let's see if I can pronounce this, Ticonderoga renew pencils and these are made out of recycled wood it says wood scraps are recycled and joined together to make new pencils less wood is used and less waste is created pencils made with 53 percent pre-consumer recycled wood so i thought that was really cool so i picked up some of those for the kids for back to school i also restocked on some of this elmer's glue stick for my junk journaling. And then in the makeup line, I found this glitter liner and it's by Ioni. It's a clear base, buildable, fast drying, no fallout. And it's gold. I really like wearing gold eyeliner, but as you can see, I don't wear makeup a lot, but when I do, I really like adding some gold eyeliner on there. So I picked that up. And then I picked up another one of these. Now in the past I had gotten these before, but my, uh, my V and my E broke in half and I'm gonna be using these in my junk journal. So I just picked up another one. It's, it would be too difficult to glue it together. I mean, I definitely could, I guess, but I'd like a new one so I don't have to fiddle with that. So I just picked up a new one. Now let's hop into some new fall and Halloween items. I'm super excited about these. So first up, I found these adorable Halloween bags with the little ghosties. I thought these were so cute. And it's a pack of two, so you also get this cute little one. Love that. And then they also have some jack-o'-lantern bags as well. So I picked those up and then they're coming out with new Halloween fabrics. So let me see if I can get this open here so we can see what it looks like. So I thought this one was super cool looking. Love that with the bats and the owls, super cute. And then they have this regular spider web one. I thought that was really cool. And I just noticed there's little spiders in it too. Oh, cute, love that. And then they also came out with some of this velvet ribbon. So I picked some up in black. I thought those would be really pretty to DIY with. Now there's definitely, um, I think it was purple, maybe like a dark blue and an orange as well. And then for the fall items, they're coming out with a lot of new items. So I was super excited about that. This year they have 
faux leather pumpkins and these are so adorable so i picked up the brown color and the orange those are going to be adorable to diy with and then they also have some faux leather leaves so cute love these and then to go with those faux leather leaves they also have some burlap leaves so i thought about combining them together so like this beautiful green color and then maybe putting a leather one on top of that since the burlap is a little bigger i thought that would be really pretty and then the same thing with these since it's kind of like the same shape just putting the leather on top of the burlap i thought that would be really pretty and then I was super excited to see that they came out with these cute little mushrooms. Now the colors are kind of cartoony. So I thought about painting them a more fall color. So dark greens and oranges and yellows, maybe a deeper red. I thought that would be really pretty. And then I also found this adorable hot apple cider sign. So instead of doing a hot cocoa bar for fall, I'm going to be doing a hot apple cider bar. So I'll probably be recording that as well. And then, oh, I have one more item that isn't fall related, but is super cute. It's this little wooden keychain, And I found these in Crafter Square. They have several different kinds of these wooden keychains so definitely be on the lookout for these these are so adorable and you can definitely diy these so i got this for my son he uh, has this red teddy bear that he's carried around with him since he was younger so i thought about diying this to look like that red teddy bear and then he can put this on his backpack for back to school but that is my entire Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.